Hello and welcome back to Jimbo's PC Builds. Today I'm going to do a short review of the Thermaltake Versa H17. It's the case that I'm including in the beginner build which I've uploaded the both introduction and the first part of the build video. So I'll leave links in the description drop below. Please check them out. This case is a micro ATX case. It's also a very cheap case. So let's have a bit of a guided tour of the case. The H17 is a pretty basic budget case. The looks are pretty basic, um, they're not overly attractive. It doesn't include a glass side panel or even a windowed panel. It has one vent on top um, for an exhaust fan. And my only concern really um, from an airflow point of view with the case is it doesn't really have much room for air to come in through the front of the case, which is something to look out for. Accessing the case is very simple. You just use the toolless um, thumb screws on the back, remove them and then pull the panels off. The first thing you see on the inside are the cables to go through to the motherboard. There are plenty of uh, slots rather than rubber grommets, which would have been nicer for routing cables. In the bottom, there's one slot for a 3.5 inch drive what more than one would have been better but and it's also a screw design which isn't the easiest but you can do it pretty okay you've also got two additional slots for ssd drives on the back again the same screw type setup which is pretty painful but okay you've got a basement on the bottom of the case for putting your power supply in it's also good for hiding cables in and you've got a good slot on the front for routing um, fan cables through there's also an additional two and a half inch SSD slot on top of the shroud, which is pretty cool for routing cables. There is unfortunately only one fan included with the case at the back. I would say, however, there is plenty of room on the front for adding additional fans, and at bare minimum, I would add one additional fan. The front IO is pretty basic. You get three USBs, a headphone, and a microphone jack. Pretty simple stuff. Well, now I've had a look at the case, my general conclusion of the case is for the price that you're paying, it's pretty good. It's got basic cable management. It's got a, a basement for your PSU to hide that away nicely. Um, it's very easy to install the components. Installing both a two and a half inch drive and a three and a half inch drive is a bit of a pain, but not the most difficult. It's got thumb screws for entry into the case. Um, but the, the side panels are very basic and use a method that's not really used much in cases anymore because it's pretty antwacky and horrible to put cases back on. Also, the front I.O., it's basic again, but you've got to keep in mind what you're paying. With all those features added up, for the price that you're paying, it's a decent case. In an age when micro ATX cases are starting to go the way of the dodo and they're disappearing, it's not a bad one to pick up for an introductory basic system, which is what I bought the case for. All right, I hope you like the case. Buy it if you want. Leave comments down below about the case if you bought it yourself and what your experiences are. Toss a like on the video if you liked it. Put a don't like if you didn't. But again, leave comments and constructive feedback so we can help improve the channel. Please subscribe and click the little bell icon to get future content. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much and take care.